What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting beliefs so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If at any moment during this video you're like, Roxy, I want to do what you're talking about. OMG, I need it. RoxyTalks.com. That's where you'll find my courses, workshops, free resources, podcasts, ebooks, meditations, affirmations, and more. Okay, the question today is, what if I still have to act on the old 3D, like exchanging stuff back with SP or having conversations that are necessary? I obviously don't want to do that because we're getting back together anyways, right? So what do I do? So this question is really great. The idea of you've done the work of rewriting them, meaning you've changed the story about who they are. You've changed your expectations. You've let go of the past hurt. You are looking to them as a new version. You've manifested a new version of them, which by the way, if you're interested in how to do that, I have a really great training where I dive deep on the topic of rewriting your specific person. I will link that in the description below. And that's exactly what we're talking about in the master training. So the idea of what to do after. Okay. So if this video is like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need, but it's not enough. I want to dive deeper. Can you show me how? Yes. Rewrite your specific person master training is for you. And I'll leave the link below. So you've done the work of rewriting your person and now you have that weird in-between point. Okay. This is the waiting game. This is patience. This is you pretending. Okay, fine. This is you holding the energy is another way to say it. This is you maintaining the energy, maintaining the vibration, however you want to look at it, keeping the story, the new story going, affirming the new story, affirming your new reality, however different ways I can say it. It is you holding on to the energy that you want from them for as long as possible. And then if you notice that you're in lack again, you're worried, you're doubting, you're fearing, you're reacting to the 3D, the second you notice, you're snapping right back into being on top of your story about them. Because just setting your intention for your SP is, that's great, but it's not going to do the work, which you probably already know, otherwise you wouldn't be watching a video about this exact thing. It's what you do after you set those intentions that really matters. It's what you do after you rewrite your specific person that really matters because that moment of rewriting, cool, that's great that you set the emotion and the intention for them to change and to be a different version. However, you're always creating the next moment and everything you do is in the past, including the manifestation that you set for your person. So if you do not maintain the awareness of the changed version of the new manifestation, the new energy, the new reality you want to get to, you are going to continue manifesting your current. Okay. So think of it as simple as possible as if each thought in your head is a footstep on a street or a path. You understand fundamentally that if you are moving one foot in front of the other, in front of the other, in front of the other on fourth street, you will only see and experience what is on fourth street. You understand that, right? You get that. Okay. Now, if you decide you want to go down third street, what do you have to do? You have to stop moving your feet on fourth street and then redirect yourself to third street. And then you have to move your feet on third street. And then you have to continue moving your feet on third street. Because then if you start getting fourth street vibes, you start going back over here, you find yourself on fourth street again. The only way to get back to third street is to change course and go to third street. I know you get this. It's very simple. So that's the deal with your specific person. Okay. Once you have decided that they are no longer living on third street, they are now living on fourth street. You cannot continue walking down third street. You must only walk down fourth street. Okay. What that means for your manifestation is when you are going about your every single day, you must be thinking thoughts that support the idea that your specific person loves you, adores you, can't keep their mind off you, wants to be with you for the rest of their life, whatever the thing is that you want. Think of it more about how they feel about you, what they want to experience with you, how you make them feel versus what they're doing or the actual actions or what they're saying. Because your 3D reality is going to, it doesn't matter. 
It does. It literally doesn't even matter what I say because it's already in the past and it doesn't matter what your 3D is because it's in the past. And the fact that you're focusing on it so much is the only reason it's still continuing. Please hear me when I say this. It's so irrelevant what's happening. Like, I don't care if they just told you they never want to see you again and they walked out of your life and they're like, don't contact me again. Oh, well, irrelevant in the past. What do you do now? From this point forward, do you walk down third street or fourth street? Do you walk down the street that says, oh no, I don't have them. What am I going to do now? I have to make my life without them. Or do you walk down the street that says, I don't care what happens. This is just part of the unfolding process for our happy, healthy, long life together. Bring it on. Because I know that if I walk down fourth street long enough, I'm going to see absolutely everything that is on fourth street. And this makes sense to you when it comes to like moving your physical body. But when it comes to thoughts, it feels like people like disconnect. They don't understand, but it is that simple. And it is that obvious. If you want a reality where your person is yours, you must think the majority of thoughts, 51% of your day in a way that says that they are yours or they're going to be yours, or they can't wait to be yours. They're thinking about you. Right? So this is why I said, don't think about necessarily what their actions are what they actually say to you, what you see in your 3D, because who cares? People can do one thing and be thinking another. So in your mind, what you're going to do is act out the implications of this 3D reality while keeping your mind in the forefront of where you want to go in the next reality, okay? So you basically, you're tying up the loose ends of this reality as you're mentally preparing and living in tomorrow's reality, what am I seeing in my head? I'm seeing somebody moving. So you know how like when you're moving, you're like simultaneously packing up your old house and you're also prepping your new house at the same time. That's what's happening. Okay. So think about when you're going to like, let's say you have to exchange stuff with your specific person. Well, well, I don't want to exchange stuff because I know we're ultimately going to get back together. And yeah, yeah, that's taking you down the wrong road. That's you continuing to walk the old path and you're going to continue manifesting the old version. A new path version of that would be something like, I'll give your stuff back all day. It's just going to come right back to my house. Like, this is cute. We're just going to exchange it back and forth houses a couple of times. Hilarious. You are not letting anything stop you from telling the story of your new manifestation. It does not matter what you're feeling in your body and it doesn't matter what you're actually seeing with your eyes or hearing with your ears or even the thoughts in your own head because you still have control over whether you allow yourself to believe that, whether you allow yourself to continue thinking that. Even if you think something terrible and you believe it and you're worried about it, you can still deny it and dismiss it and counteract it. That is still available to you, but that takes awareness and discipline. I always say 360 method. That is what I do. It's what I use. It's what I teach my clients. It's how I explain manifestation is you're having these thoughts that are creating and manifesting a reality that you don't like. If you would like that reality to change, you must change the thoughts and there's nothing else in my opinion, you can do about that. Now, obviously there's many ways of doing that. We can work at the subconscious level. We can work at the conscious level, multiple things. That's why I talk about 360 method. This is what I actually do and teach you how to do in 360 so that you can change any thought, whether it's like a deep thought, a thought from your past, your childhood or whatever, it doesn't matter. A current thought, whatever, something you're dealing with now, 360method.co. If you're interested, I'll also leave a link to that below. The point is whatever you are worried about, you're stressed about, you're fearing about, It's because you believe something to be true that is attached to that fear. So for example, being afraid to exchange things back with your SP, you broke up and now you have to exchange things back with each other. Why would you be afraid of that? Well, because I'm really saying this is over because I'm letting you go because I might never see you again. So you hold on. You're afraid that you're never going to see them, that it's going to be over. I just said the things. So you don't let yourself take the next step. But And I can tell you from personal experience, breaking up is exactly what I needed to do in order to manifest my husband. If I hadn't done that and let go of him and actually was ready to move on, I don't know if we would be together. I I think back on that time and if I hadn't been able to just let it go and step into like my bad bitch, I know who I am, yas, 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 me energy, I I don't even know where I'd be right now. But it was the energy of truly being able to let go, really knowing who I was, really believing in my own self and my worthiness that actually made him come through. So you have to really act with this sense of trust and knowing that whatever unfolds is exactly what needs to happen for you and your person to be together. Because if I can look back on my experience with my husband, 
if I had known that like letting him go was what was going to be, would, you know, get us together, I would have done it way sooner. Thankfully I did, but I know that because that's what happened. And the energy that I had when I did that was, this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fucking more than okay. I'm gonna be incredible. And so when you go to exchange the stuff with your person, when you have these conversations, in your mind it is, thank you. This is exactly what we both need. It is not, oh no, I can't. What if this, what if that? Because that energy is you staying on the wrong street. That's you on third street where everything is negative and it's not working out. But on fourth street, it is... Yes, everything works out in my favor and I'm divinely guided and I'm taken care of and I know that I'm gonna be happy no matter what happens to me. So here's your stuff with the most love in the world. Here's your stuff. Here's X, Y, Z thing that needs to happen and I love you and I release you and thank you. I'm gonna go work on me. I'm gonna go have the time of my life. I'm gonna hang with my friends. I'm gonna do my art. I'm gonna talk to my family. I'm gonna go walk the dog. I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna start my business. Like literally any of the things that you want to fucking do, pour yourself into it. Pour yourself into something that is going to fill you back up versus pouring yourself into trying to get your SP. The more you put the energy on how awesome you are, then they will be able to see that. And that's what happened with my husband. The second I stopped thinking that he was everything and I started thinking I was everything, he was able to see me as everything because he's a mirror reflection of me and so is your SP. So when you decide that you are the main event and there's nothing better in town, now SP can feel the same way about you. And what you do in the meantime is play it cool. Stay neutral. Don't rock the boat of your 3D when you're trying to manifest. If you have to do something uncomfortable, that's okay. You can acknowledge those feelings. You can feel uncomfortable and still think thoughts that say, yes, this is working out for me. Whew, this feels so uneasy, but you know what? I know it's exactly what needs to happen because everything works in my favor. You use everything for you instead of against you. Even if you feel negative, even if they say the worst thing in the, whatever, even if they say the most heartbreaking thing, it's for the betterment of your manifestation always, no matter what it is. And this is beyond SP, just talking about ignoring circumstances, no matter what happens in your 3D. Good. (laughs) Haha. Nice. Thank you. That means it's working out. You maintain that and you're always creating that on the forefront. So it doesn't matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter what happened in the past, good or bad. It does not matter because you're always creating the future with your now moment. So in every moment, take what's good, bad, indifferent, disempowering, empowering, and call it yas, because look at me go, and it's working out in my favor, including SP, who, this is a fun little dance that we're doing, exchanging stuff and having these silly conversations when deep down I know you can't stop thinking about me, and I know that you're committing your life to me, and I know you can't see yourself with anybody else, and I know that this is just going to make you realize how much you want to be with me, so here's your stuff back. Bye! Play that game, and I know it's hard, I know it's hard, babes, because I've been there. But you know what? It also wasn't hard. It also was the best thing that ever happened to me and him, (laughs) obviously, because he's married to me now. You know what I mean? Like, what better thing could have happened for him and for me? So just take the power in this situation. Look at what makes you amazing. That's why you want to do stuff to fill into your cup. I was so ready to go just have the time of my life the night that my husband came through. It was the same night that I let him go. I let you go. Bye. I'm going to go have the time of my life. Guess who came through? Same night. So I'm not saying yours will take hours, but mine did, but I made a clean break. There was no ties left over. There was no energetic. What if it was just like, I love you. I really see you. Goodbye. I'm going to go have a great time. (laughs) And I did. And I ended up meeting my husband that night. Ironically, who knew? And it was the same person that I had just let go of. So let my story be inspiration to you. Letting go is okay. Moving on is okay. Acting like everything is okay when it's not is okay. And it's not about bypassing because we allow our feelings, but we don't let our feelings change the story of our manifestation. That is the art, okay? So if you want my full A to Z, top to bottom, inside and out, love, overhaul, training, manifest your SP, eliminating all the bullshit from your past relationships so that you can have the best, most beautiful relationship with the person of your dreams, 
That is my Manifest a Specific Person workshop. We call it the SPW around here. So if you ever hear me saying the SPW, that's the Manifest a Specific Person workshop. And it is my number one best-selling course. It is my best love training by far. It's a whole deep dive. The thing I talked to you about earlier, rewrite your specific person. That is one training on one specific thing that will be linked below. And then if you want to go deeper, you're like, okay, I need more than one training. I need to figure out why X, Y, Z. I need to figure out why I keep manifesting this. I need to get myself out of blah, blah, blah. We don't need to affirm it, but if that's where you're at and you're ready to really overhaul your whole love situation right now, or simply you just want to manifest somebody and you want to just get to the point, check out my Manifest a Specific Person workshop. And I'll also leave a link to that in the description below. And of course, all of this is at roxytalks.com. If you'd like to check out more of my courses, workshops, free downloads, podcasts, affirmations, eBooks, meditations, and all kinds of fun stuff to help you manifest whatever the fuck you want, roxytalks.com. So I want you to comment down below Everything that happens in my 3D is working in my favor. Everything that happens in my 3D is working in my favor. And I want you to really use this in those moments when the 3D is 3D in, and you're like, (laughs) I'm so glad that everything in my 3D is always working in my favor. Thanks, 3D. (laughs) I just knew, I just, I just knew everything was gonna work out in my favor. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks. You can be sarcastic, but for the love of God, control the way you think about what you fucking experience and how you feel. And that will change everything in your life. I promise, okay? I wouldn't still be here after so many years screaming at you through the lens, the same shit for years now, if this wasn't the tea, if I didn't believe it, if I didn't know it was gonna change your life, okay? And if it wasn't already changing a bunch of fucking people's lives, check the comment sections of my video, okay? There are testimonials everywhere. This shit works if you work it. It's not going to work without you. It's not going to work without your cooperation. You need to do the work too, but that's what I'm here for to show you how to do the work. So roxytalks.com, specific person workshop. That's the big overall giant. It's basically 360 for your love life. Okay. That's the SPW manifest specific person workshop 360 for your love life. It's all the things you're going to go top to bottom inside it out with love. We're going to excavate all the BS and get you in the most amazing relationship of your dreams. 360 is that, but for your whole life, it's every topic, all of the things, your trauma, your history, your past, healing, your current, your mindset, your energy, all that stuff. Okay. That's what 360 method is, 360method.co. That's all the things. And then of course I mentioned the rewrite your specific person master training, which is the one topic of rewriting, which is what we talked about in this video. So if you want to go deeper on just that specific subject, the rewrite your specific person training is for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button so that I know that this is the kind of stuff you want to watch. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. If you catch a live premiere, come say hi because I'm usually chatting with the community during the video premiere. I also go live every Monday with the community for Mindset Monday where I answer your questions and we all get into the vibe of the week and set us up for amazing success, prosperity, love, and abundance. Thank you so much for joining us here. I love you so much. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you. I'll see you next time.